street that movie. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, there's a scene about that. <laughs> Our next speaker is what I like to call a seasoned speaker and has been a part of Toastmaster for four years. It's speaking from the Better Club series annual and entitled The How and Why of Evaluation and Toastmasters. Please welcome Fred Sadler. Well, that's a tough act to follow. <laughs> I give credit for that as an aphorism, don't I? Oh. You, have to, you have to say aphorism. You have to say aphorism. Well, I have to say the word aphorism. I don't have to. Or use it correctly in a sense. Just <laughs> On our Toastmasters card that Steve got today, Promise number four is to provide fellow members with a helpful and constructive evaluation. This is important because if we are to improve our public speaking, we must not only speak in public, we must get feedback from our peers. We can't see ourselves as others can. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and no longer any guests. <laughs> as newcomers, we prepare for the role of speech evaluator by doing many evaluations, performing functionary roles which are useful and functional. As our counter, we get to ring a bell. As word master, we get to pound on the table. As timer, we get to play with traffic lights, like we did <laughs> in grade school and we were doing the traffic patrol. As listeners, we get to listen, clap, and cheer. Go ahead, make my day. <laughs> you guys are becoming good. <laughs> Each club meeting is packed with opportunities for feedback. The CC manual has 10 evaluation sections, one for each speech. The CL manual has actually 24 functions for us to perform. And in each case, we have to get a written evaluation of performance if we want to complete our CL. And at the end of each meeting, the general evaluator evaluates the entire speech, uh, the entire aspects of, of the meeting and the speech evaluator's performance. When we complete a prepared speech, we are filled with energy. We want to know, how did I do? Was I OK? What could I have done better? It's a very powerful teaching moment. As an evaluator, in your allotted two to three minutes, you address points that are most helpful to the speaker. Now, how do we do this? Well, we keep it simple, and we use what's called the sandwich method. First, what did the speaker do well? Second, where can he improve? Third, provide encouragement for the next speech. And then you wrap your yummy suggestions inside tasty affirmations. <laughs> Evaluation is an art and a skill that can be learned and mastered, like speaking itself. Toastmasters provides a system to help us do this. No one is asked to evaluate a prepared speech until he is given several himself and provided and performed several functionary roles. Each manual speech contains guidelines for the evaluator to follow, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. <laughs> Here are some suggestions. You show that you're interested. You address the objectives of the speech. You personalize your language with I messages. You evaluate the speech delivery, not the content. You demonstrate the change that you seek. If you want the speaker to use bigger gestures, use bigger gestures in your evaluation. Don't just say, might be nice if you do bigger <laughs> gestures. Evaluate in such a manner that the speaker benefits and wants to come back. This is not the Bobby Knight school of feedback. <laughs> we don't scream and throw chairs across the room. It's also not the Snow White 
school of whitewashing. Oh, Arnie, I just love the way you speak. <laughs> <laughs> well, this might feel good to Arnie. He learns nothing from it. So don't do it that way. A practical suggestion. Use a simple form to organize your evaluation. There is a template that I'm going to pass around that Toastmasters International has put together for us to use that is a simple device that we can record what we are listening to and then we bring it up to speak. We can download it from our website. A speech evaluation is actually a lot more than just an evaluation. It is an opportunity to deliver another short speech with, in fact, very little preparation, very little time to prepare. It's another speaking skill that is very useful in Glasgow Hall and in our life outside these rooms. So when it's your turn to evaluate, bring your template to the lectern, turn your gaze to the person that you're evaluating, and serve with a smile your own homemade delicious evaluation sandwich. Hmm. Your sandwich will nourish us all. Have a toast,